Right. Now we're moving on to the last of the pickups in terms of what I've ordered online because they were stuff that I got physically in, in, in shops. Um, basically, um, I got um, some stuff on eBay that um, are for the Philips CDI. Now, I haven't shown Philips CDI games in ages and um, it's nice to actually show some because a lot of people um, don't do a lot of videos on that system. They tend to do things like Mega Drive, Mars System, SNES, N64, Dreamcast, etc. But the Philips CDI, you don't tend to get many videos on it. Um, it's sort of in the gaming community. It's you know, at least not what I've come across. Um, so I thought it'd be good to pick up quite a few um, and just do a little section on it because the Philips CDI, yes, we all know it, it it's, was a bit of a flop and it, it's not the most amazing console in the world. And especially when you're looking at games like you know Link Faces of Evil and Zelda: The Wonder Gamelon, they're absolutely atrocious. Um, but there are some good games like obviously Burn Cycle, Escape from Cyber City. Um, and there's others as well. Um, so, yeah, I thought it would be quite quite cool to do a little bit on that. Um, so, basically, what I've done is I've picked up some kids' games for the CDI because um, I'm just about to have a niece, um, which is really exciting, and what I thought I would do is, because the CDI is obviously Compact Disc Interactive, is what it stands for, it, it's one of the perfect consoles for kids to interact with. Um, I, wouldn't stick a, I wouldn't stick a young kid on the NES or... Um, well... It depends how old they are, but if they're really, really young, like three or four, you wouldn't stick them on you know, a proper gaming console because they wouldn't really know what they were doing. Um, in terms of the CDI, um, it's not like fast-paced fast, fast paced, you know, gaming stuff. It's just like you can get games on the CDI where it's just you sort of you, you, you go around exploring and you can go, kind of go at your own pace and you can kind of, I can kind of sit there with her and just like, show her different things and she can kind of learn as she goes along kind of thing. So basically, what I've got, guys, um, is... A lot of them are just sequels to ones that I've had for ages, and then I just went and bought the sequel. Um, so basically, um, this is um, the one that I've had for ages, for years, and that is A Visit to Sesame Street Numbers. Um, don't worry about the fact it's got a two there. It doesn't mean it's the second game um, or anything. Like, you know, like, um, I don't know, Sonic 2. Um, you know it's Sonic 2 because there's a two on it. This doesn't mean it's like... I said, visit Sesame Street 2, it's just literally numbers, they just happen to have chosen, the, out of all the numbers they could have chosen, they just happen to chose a 2 to put on the cover, to emphasise the fact it's about numbers, so that's it, that's all it's there for really, it doesn't mean it's a second game in a series or anything, and then there's the back of it there, so you've got the Count and then Bert and Ernie, and then um, it is complete, but just the, 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 the case is kind of falling apart, and with CDI games you didn't get manuals or anything, it was just like different leaflets or there was just nothing there. So there's that one. And they brought out one um, visit to Sesame Street Letters. So what I did was I went on eBay and I found letters. Um, and it was about six quid, I think it was. Um, and went and got visit to Sesame Street Letters. Um, you can get CDI games in different sizes. You can get this game in that sort of size. And you can also get it in the, on an even bigger size as well. It's absolutely massive. Um, but um, to be honest, this, it was either it was out of this one or the massive one. It didn't have the medium sized one, it was this size to go with it. So rather than get a huge one and spend loads of money on it, I thought I'd just get. Because it's the same game, it's just a different size. Um, and then on the back there, you've got Big Bird, and then um, the top there is a little picture there of Snuffy. <laughs> I only know that because I tested the game the other day and then it, you know, it came up. <laughs> and then game in there. That is a little bit of a manual, but it's not like, you know, the games didn't really come with manuals as such, so there's that. Next thing, guys, is um, a game called Paint School. Now, I've had this one for years, Paint School 1. Basically, I went to a car boot um, eight years ago, and there was a guy selling a load of CDI games in the boot of his car. And um, I just sort of ran over there and said, oh, I'd love to buy some off him. And he actually did me a good deal on quite a few games. Um, but this was ages ago, so I can't exactly remember how much I paid or, you know, the sorts of things I got as such. But, yeah, and this was one of the games I picked up, um, Paint School 1. It's a really good um, kids' game um, where they can just, like, literally, um, obviously, paint different pictures um, using different types of paintbrushes and crayons. And what they can do is, once they've finished colouring in a picture, they can actually, with this puzzle um, piece here, if they click on it, um, they can then turn that completed coloured-in picture into a puzzle, and then they can then... Make it make a jigsaw out of it and try and put the pieces back together. So that's a quite a nice touch, I thought as well. Um, and again, if I open it up, disc inside. So there's that one. And then so what I did was, guys, they did release a Paint School Two. So oh, this isn't shutting very well. 
Um, so I went on eBay again, picked up Painter's Call 2. I think this was only about three quid, so that was quite good. Um, and again, it's just more of the same, apart from obviously there's different pictures you can use, there's more variety. Um, and again, you can turn it into a picture when you're finished, into a jigsaw rather. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cool. And again, it's the same sort of design for the disc, just a different colour. Um, so yeah, Painter's Call 2. Uh, nearly there, guys. Um, Next one is a game I've had for a while called Richard Scarry's Busiest Neighbourhood Disc Ever. And this is a really good one for kids because they can really, you know, explore a massive neighbourhood, go into different shops, interact with different characters, and, and it's just really fun for, um, for children to kind of, you know, interact with. Um, and I think I got this in a charity shop as well um, years ago. Um, so again, if I open it up, you can see the disc in there. And on the back as well, sort of see the sorts of things I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so then what they did was they also released one called Richard Scarry's Best Neighbourhood Disc Ever rather than Busiest. So it says Busiest. And then what I did was again, this one I actually got off Amazon rather than eBay. So there you go, Richard Scarry's Best Neighbourhood Disc Ever. Um, oh, and I forgot to say, Paint School 2, I got that off Amazon, not eBay. I got two of them off eBay, two of them off Amazon. And I think this was about three quid again. So, again, not too bad. And it was quite funny because actually on Amazon, that was completely sold out and they didn't reckon they'd ever get it in stock again. Hence, obviously, the CDI is really old now, so they probably wouldn't ever again. That was, out of, that was out of stock for good. That one was available. So I was so lucky it wasn't the other way around that I was able to then get the one I needed. And then the last one, guys, is... Um, it's not a game. It's actually a video CD. For those of you that don't know, and the CDI also had... Um, few sort of video CDs where they're basically films but you just play them on the CDI rather than the DVD player and they called them video CDs obviously we've got DVDs and Blu-rays now but the CDI versions of films and stuff where it was just compatible for the CDI were called video CDs although having said that there are a few that were actually available to also not only play on the CDI but also they would also work on um, a th uh, a th what was it a 3DO 3DO I think it was an Amiga and a 3D no 3DO Anyway, it's not important. Uh, but yeah, and um, they released loads of They released Ghost on the CDI, the film, so you could play it on the CDI. And they released Back to the Future, etc. Um, another one they released was Sooty. Now, Sooty is uh, a really um, good um, TV show that I, I watched um, for hours on end when I was a kid. And I, I my mum and dad bought me countless videos of Sooty. I must have, blind me, must have about... 45 sooty videos doesn't that sound crazy they just literally every time they saw a sooty video that I didn't have they would just buy it for me because um, as I was growing up I loved it so much and I just got a bit obsessed with it and I just wanted to constantly know what new adventures he would go on uh, with, Ma with Matthew Corbett who was doing it at the time and yeah I must have so many videos I'm gonna, I'm looking to sell them actually quite soon because um, I've got so many now and obviously we don't, no one really uses VCRs anymore but um, yeah I just ah, oh, I used to absolutely love it and um yeah, so they um, bought me loads of those, um, but obviously I'm looking to sell those, and um, I do have two Sooty DVDs, which I'm going to keep for, for my niece to watch when she's growing up, um, and what I thought I would do is I thought I would get this as well um, to replace, because I've got this on video, uh, but obviously I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell that, so I thought it's not necessarily get it on DVD, because you can't get it on DVD, but you can get it on video CD, does that make sense? It's like... You can get it on video, you can't get it on DVD because it's quite old, but they released it on the CDI as well, just for just to work on the CDI, so it's a bit strange, but yeah. So I thought if I get this, I can just keep this, because it's quite small, it's not taking up any space, I can just keep this. Um, so yeah, again, so it's basically learning with Sooty, start to read, so again, she can help her with her reading, um, etc. And yeah, and there's a little, um, again, there's... I'd probably say some CDI games have manuals and others didn't, to be honest. Oh, don't need to get that out. But yes, yeah, so, so, uh, learn to read with Sooty. Okay? And that's, that's it for the pickups, guys. Um, sorry the video's been so long. I know it's been absolutely crazy. Um, I've just tried to cram so much into so little space, really. Um, but that's it for the pickups, guys. Thanks very much for watching that, that bit. Now, before I end the video, I want to mention um, an absolutely, literally, I've never been so excited in all my life in terms of gaming, um, apart from when I bought um, games or consoles that I've wanted for, for ages. This is literally tops the lot. In June, um, 
my good friend uh, Martin, aka Murphy Durf, he is organising an absolutely epic gaming weekend in June um, for loads of um, YouTubers in the gaming community to go down to his shop and spend the weekend with him um, and everyone else and just do loads of gaming tournaments. I am so excited, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, I was going to drive down there, but then it turned out, because I live quite near there, uh, it's in Spalding, it's, it's uh, called GameLink, it's in Spalding, uh, I'm so lucky that I live not too far from there, um, I could probably get there on the train in an hour and a half, and it wouldn't even cost me that much either, it probably cost me about, I think I worked it out, about £13 return, which really isn't that bad at all. Um, so... Um, I thought I might as well just get the train because it's easier. Um, but literally, a load of us are going up there um, on the 11th and 12th of June. Um, and there's going to be myself, Dan Central, obviously. There's going to be um, the Jebs24, a.k.a. Gemma's going. x 2708, a.k.a. Marcus, is going. Um, <sighs> Jurassic Junkie's going. Um, what's... I ah, can't think of his name. Retro, Retro Bob. Retro Bob two zero eight four. Oh, I can't think of his name. He's a new YouTuber that I um, only just discovered the other day, and his videos are absolutely epic. Um, and there's also loads of other people going as well. And I'm just literally so excited. Um, he's put a video on his channel um, talking about it, um, and was just trying to get as many people as he could. Um, I'm just so privileged and, and honoured to have been given an invite. Um, the fact that he sort of felt that I was worthy of an invite and that he liked my... Because he said to me um, um, via PMs that he really enjoys my channel, which is so brilliant. And I'm just so grateful, mate. You know, it's just absolutely awesome. You know, um, the feedback he gave me on my videos was just absolutely brilliant. Um, and I just literally can't wait. They're gonna is Basically, he's got an idea where he's going to do a massive gaming marathon. So we're going to start on the 2600, I think he said, and then go right the way through every single console, right the way through to the Xbox 360 and the PS3 um, and the Wii. Um, so literally he's going to go through every single console um, in order from the year it was released, um, I think, um, and just go through everything. So we're just going to have a massive marathon and we're going to span so many different genres, it's going to be mad. Um, so obviously things like racing, adventure, um, first person shooters etc it's going to be absolutely fantastic and we're going to all go out on the Saturday evening as well um, for, for a laugh and for a drink and stuff and uh, it's just, ah, oh, I just can't literally, I physically can't wait I booked um, the weekend off work the other week um, and literally I'm just like can't physically can't wait um, so basically um, he asked me to mention this in this pickups video, and I'm absolutely more than happy to do so because I'm so excited. You know, I just can't stop going on about it. Um, and I think he was wondering if anyone else wanted to come. Um, so if any of you are interested, go and watch his video um, and let him know. Um, obviously, he can't have tons and tons of people because it will completely, um, you know, squish everyone into his shop, and then it will get really claustrophobic. But he sent some invites out already um, about it, and he's um, just, you know, been organising this for a while. And um, I just love it. I love it that um, so many of us have actually, you know, agreed to go. To go because obviously you can organise um, events sometimes, and people just aren't interested, or it just doesn't kind of, you know, happen kind of thing. But this is actually going to happen, and there's loads of us that have already said we're, we're interested. Um, oh, and Junior D nineteen seventy five is going as well, which is brilliant because. I'm just so looking forward to meeting some of the most amazing gaming legends on YouTube. I've been wanting to meet Marcus, Gemma, Junior D, um, um, I'm just trying to think, who do I, who else did I say? Jurassic Junkie, for months and months and months. And I just can't believe that I'm actually going to get to meet you guys in person. And it just, I know people have said this before, and I think I've even said this in another video, but it just, it's just like, if I never made my YouTube channel, you know, I would never be doing things like this. I would never have, you know, experienced the immense generosity of people in the community. You know, I'd never have um, met so many wonderful people. I would never have been, you know, sent this ama that amazing Sonic plushie from Wendy. I wouldn't be going to GameLink. I probably wouldn't even know about GameLink if it wasn't for YouTube because um, that's how I found out about the shop. And I just, all these events that, you know, have, that spring up because of YouTube is just... 
absolute fans. You know, I wouldn't even go into Game Link if, if it wasn't for my YouTube channel and for all the support that people uh, give give to the channel and everything. And I just wouldn't know about it. So it's just absolutely incredible what the internet and YouTube can can do for you um, in terms of meeting people and just getting your content out there. Oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I've shown all my pickups. Um, and I've spoken about the absolutely amazing weekend. I literally cannot wait. I'm just like jumping all over the place. I mean, I know it's not for a, a few um, a few months yet, um, but um, you know, I just can't wait. And the most what tops it off even more is that um, we go the weekend's happening on the same week that I finished college for good and I qualify as a personal trainer. So obviously, I'm still at college now, but I finished college on the sixth. Of... Hang on, hang on. Yes, that is right. I finished college on the 6th of June for, for good. That's my last exam, and then I'll, I qualify then. And then that's on the Monday, and then on the Saturday of the same week is the weekend. So not only will I be celebrating, you know, retro gaming as a whole and, you know, current-gen gaming and meeting all these awesome, awesome people, I'll also be celebrating the fact that I would have finished college and, and you know, qualify as a personal trainer. So it will be kind of a mixture of two things. So it's going to be really special for me. Um, and I just can't wait to look in his shop and just be completely just like sucked into all the retro goodness and just want to buy so many different things. And he's, he's actually going to um, do loads of um, prizes as well. And he's going um, it, to, oh, this is just so cool, he's going to do like a point system, like a Mario Kart, where um, the idea is whoever gets first gets like 10 points or something. You know, like when you play like Mario Kart 64, for example, and you, you finish the race and then it brings up the, uh, the, the list or, or the column of... Um, of players and then obviously depending on, the, on the, the rank that you got depends on how many points you get he's going to do it like that so whoever gets like first gets 10 points second 9 points etc and, and do it that do it that way and that's just such a cool idea and you know I just literally cannot wait after this video is going to be my let's play of Castle of Illusion is going to go up next and then after that will be my room tour thanks very much guys and I'll see you all very soon take care